together. It's just that the bulk of the world's resources, in this case of energy resources, are buried under layers of autocracy, corruption, and so on. And you say, well, okay, what does that matter? Well, it matters because there have been studies done by prominent academic institutions, including Yale University, in a more recent study that was done in 2017 on corruption versus environmental stewardship or environmental performance. And so you can see the quote there, corruption deteriorates the overall environmental quality. This effect is robust and persistent. In other words, the correlation is high. And you can see that correlation on that scatter chart. If you can't see it, that's basically what it is. It means is that the more corruption increases to the right on the horizontal axis, the more environmental performance degrades down. So it is relevant. The shift in who we blame for the world's environmental ills and where it comes from is of importance because we know climate change is a global issue. It's not a local issue. Okay. But it goes far beyond climate change. It's the overall sustainability. And that therefore, thinking about it conversely, if we could place greater emphasis on countries like Canada and their lower corruption or low corruption uh, and advanced environmental practices, the better we are off as a world.